Alright, welcome back to some more Umi Neko When They Cry. So where we last left off. Over an hour worth of footage we have learned about acknowledgement. How I mean Anji's in Anji's case, you know. You know, bit of a little bit of a complicated situation between like well how Anji has to deal to deal with her uh uh, made her major mistake of that where she was invited to the uh, Mariard Sorcier Alliance, she rejected it, and but now she learned she learned a, a deep uh, insight from Amakusa surprisingly because I'm, I'm I really don't care about the guy as much other than him being like some some slick guy, but, uh, but you know. There is an interest. There is an insight into how acknowledgement works, and then uh, this even applies to the uh, whether or not magic exists. You know, Anji has to learn to, you know, respect it. You know, who cares about other people's opinions? All right. <laughs> oh boy, let's uh, continue. I got my coffee. Let's go. A two-propeller aircraft touched down on the runway. Considering the weather. It couldn't have been a pleasant flight. Everything after this flight had been suspended due to weather. Oh boy. Cutting through the drizzle as she traversed the runway. Sumadira Kazumi. Oh boy. Sumadira Kazumi entered the lobby with two black suits as guards. The four black suits who had been waiting inside the lobby stood up and respectfully lowered their heads in salute. お疲れ様です。プロペラ切ったのは揺れるわね。二度と乗りたくないわ。お車を用意しております。どうぞこちらへ。They got into two luxury cars that had been rented. エンジェは六軒島へ向かうはずよ。the black suit in the passenger seat put a heavy bag that had been set by his feet into his lap, opened the catch with a click and showed Cosmic what was inside. Inside were several silver lumps of carefully wrapped aluminum foil. He killed one open to show her. A black, blunt, automatic pistol peeked its face out. Wait. You want to kill your niece with a tool that resembles a shooting? All because... Okay, that's just fucking... Okay. Alright. Chapter 11. Ushiro Miya Kinza. Oh, well, now we're back in 1986. It was already approaching 10 at night. By now, the typhoon had wrapped itself around Rokujima. Even the rose garden that had looked so beautiful midday was beaten down upon by the fierce winds and resisted with all its might, undulating and trying to keep the flowers from blowing away. In that rose garden was Shannon in the lead, Badler holding up an umbrella, Jessica and George carrying the sleeping Maria on his back, all heading for the guest house. Guest house cry. We're, we're, we're going back to 1986. Finally, after few freaking, you know, chapters worth of spare and technology. Jesus. Shannon chan. もどってそうスナオにお世話になった方がむしろ迷惑をかけないだろうね。ありがとう、シャノン。いいえ。
確かにお嬢様のおっしゃられます通り今日のお屋敷はピリピリしていますだから私も皆さんとご一緒して外の空気が吸えるのでちょっと肩が楽です親族会議か。わざわざ俺たち子供を追い出すくらいだから相当たちの悪い話をするんだろうぜ。だろうね。僕たちはきっと何の力にもなれない。I mean, normally with a certain、uh, opinion is like, I think it's kind of like pretty nosy to meddle in other、uh, Other people's family businesses, but you know, if it's something really heated, then you know it's pretty bad, you know. But it's got nothing to do with, you know, George, Valor, Jessica, Maria. Simite, Jamao, Shina, Yoni, Surunoga, Ishiban, no Kyoryoku, that all moyo. Well, no shit. Do, Semata, Kane, Kane, Kane. I mean, you're dealing with a fucking wealthy family after all. Who done, son, son, can I watch that to free Joe Stilluxini? Is that not that a motte briagar? True. But to Kimayoko, we know the Yamaka Sodia in you. I mean, that just sounds too easy. Oh, what's a really good political term for it? I don't know. I, everyone wants to fucking fight. <laughs> See, even Badler thinks he's funny. So, yeah, go kind of harassed us, eh? Or any more, I can buy a more idea, you know, yeah. No, you don't. You don't know what the fuck to do with your money. Mushu or any more, I don't know. Son to get Shannon Chani Mawaki, the other carana. It's not, it's not to mention tax also gets deducted based on the amount, so. どうもありがとうございますお気持ちだけで嬉しいですシャノンは欲がないね年頃の女の子なら買いたいものがいっぱいあるだろうにそうですねでも私欲しいものの中にお金で買えるものがありませんのでヒュー無欲だな俺なんか欲しいもん全部並べたら金がいくらあっても足りねえぜお金で買えるものにはだぜシャノンの言う金で買えない欲しいものって何かな Oh, we're, we're going through this process of the sec. Just. Why, why, the way you say it, just, just like is in, similar in the second episode. Really? You, you're making this whole romance can't buy. Romance can't be bought with money, huh? So. So. What's that? It's not a good thing. George and Shannon looked down, their faces red. Badler had also heard about what was going on with him, so he knew what Jessica was teasing them about. George and Annie, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell だな。私もジョージ兄さんなら安心してシャノンを任せられるぜ。か、からかうのは良してくれよ。僕たちにとっては真面目な問題なんだ。それよりジェシカちゃんの方だってどうなんだい？カノン君と少しは仲良くなれ
お前カノン君とそういう仲なのかよ、wow. バーラー just getting sandwiched between like you know you know two that got their own love birds ジョージ兄さんそういう話の切り返し方は汚いぜあずでは、アニメーションのディスカッションのアップスダウンズ、フォーキッズヘッドフォーデゲストハウス、デアニュアルファミリーコンフェンスは、エクストリームリーインポーテンスのウシュロミアファミリー、アンディスイヤーシンバーギブスゴンディビエスペシャルインポーテンス。アパレンリーデファミリーヘッド Kinza was personally going to be a, making a very serious announcement, and everyone other than the adults had been strictly ordered to leave. Oh wow, Kinza's gonna make an appearance. At, gee, he's actually gonna come out of the and touch grass. Is this the announcement? Oh shit. This is the end. This is exciting. Battler hadn't attended the family conference in six years, so he didn't really notice. But according to Jessica, there seemed to be a very tense atmosphere tonight. Completely different from a normal year. Common sense made it clear that Kinza, whose remaining life was short, was going to make some big announcement about the succession of the headship and the distribution of his fortune. Shkashi, I'm sorry. 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 I'm s o r r It, it, it took like four fucking episodes. Naruhodo. Korega Majo no Hangeki to you, Akene. Wait. Can you tell me? Wait. The witch is controlling him? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Finally. Kinzo to you, Joka, a moose cushy fusetti takata to Korodanga. Soro soro kiruno ga koro idea. <laughs> oh man, it took a few episodes and now I miss her cackle already. Oh, I didn't. So, Jesama was so sure to see that. So, I'm going to go to the house. いつかはそなたが金蔵を疑いに来ることは読めておったわさあさあこれでそなたの推理は再びゼロに戻ったぞ金蔵は最初から死んでいてその代わりにわらわが18人目として紛れ込んでいたという推理はこれでパーだ Be calm. Is there like a quote like be calm before the storm? Or I probably have to like look at the quote again, but something like that. <laughs> so, the next day, and now, so the next day, and now, Mada Mada died in a bunch. I has him at the end. I could pick a new Amarini Hoya Sumir. So, ne, so stay. Akaki Shinj, the Hite Sareta Waka de Monai. 今この瞬間の時点でまだバトラの説は破られたわけではない、oh, hey, 勝ったつもりになるのも早すぎるわよそうだな確かにあっさり鵜呑みにするにはまだ早いなじいさまがいよいよ登場するということにはなってるがやっぱり体調が悪くなったうんぬん言って現れない可能性だってある
more, he'll probably say something bizarre, and then I'll probably laugh. Jesus is really dead. Is it true? 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 気にするがよいすぐに決着するすぐにな<笑> huh? okay, we resolved very soon. Okay, let's see. All of the relatives and Nanjo could be seen in the dining hall. Nanjo sat alone, quietly watching the wind and rain outside. Krauss sat down in the seat of his own rank, was not to be standing motionlessly at his side. The other siblings were gathered at the opposite end of the long table, whispering to each other. Sorry, Hontoka. Eh, Maria was a was father? Okay, wait, what? Kinzo? Wait, man, we really, man, I. Man, four episodes in, man, I really need to piece on who gave the umbrella to Maria from like first episode, second episode. Is this second episode obvious? This is not Beatrice, this has got to be someone disguising. Third episode, now fourth. The fuck Kinzo, that Maria. Just in the roots. もう兄さんとのくだらない駆け引きは一切不要だわだなクソおやじめもったいぶらずにとっとと現れてくれりゃよかったんだおかげで俺たちは兄貴と無駄に揉めただけだそれを試したかったのかもね血のつながってない私が言うのもなんだけどあなたたちのお父様かなり頭はいいわよ日中のやりとりは多分使用人の誰かに聞かれてお父様に報告されてたのよなんてことお父様の遺産が目当てで騒いでることはもうバレバレってことじゃないああ、なんてことよ。And since it's right now, right in the open, I'm pretty sure k i n z e v a uncharacteristically held her head, dejected. If, as Kairi had said, everything had been going according to Kinzo's plans from the beginning, and if this was a huge setup that had been kept up for over a year, Trying to find the siblings' true intentions, then they had fallen for it completely. お父様は宣言するのよ兄さんこそが後継ぎで私たちには片欲を身にまとう資格もないと宣告するのよあ,あ私は姉さんしっかり The fact that you're comforting her is a This is a suspicious of itself. Rosa, 
マリアちゃんは本当にお父様に傘をもらったのかしらマリアちゃんはお父様に会ったかもしれないでも私たちは会ってないわマリアちゃんがそうだと主張しているだけよそんなマリアが嘘をついているというの So because. Huh? Wait, if Maria was standing in the fucking rain the whole time and then, like. Kin wait. Kinzo. That is kind of weird if, if Kinzo, like, saw Maria out the window. I mean, if, if it did, it would make sense, but, like. I mean, then again, I'm pretty sure all of you relatives didn't even hear the commotion of to whether Kinzo left the house or not. Even if they did, that would be pretty obvious, but, you know. Okay, Rosa. Maria chan ga uso o tsuku to wa itte ne. Daga, Maria chan wa sunao na ko daro? Tatoeba daga, Genji san atari ga. この傘はおじい様からマリア様に渡すように言われましたみたいなことを言ったらマリアちゃんは親父に会ったわけでなくてもおじい様に傘をもらったって言うかもしれねえぜ、uh, that could be true I mean what if、uh, one of the servants like you know witnessed it and then they, they... What if the one of the servants was ordered by Kinza to, like, you know, they w i t No. Because even if they did, it would, be, it'd be, it, it would still be obvious. I mean, what if the servant, one of the servants could see, like, Maria to stay in the rain and just give it an umbrella just like that? Unless they could just paint the narrative of the story. So, so, ne. So, no, tega, can't get it, huh? だがなマリアちゃんはこう言ったんやろおじいさまがやってきて傘を渡してくれたとええそう言ったわおじいさまから直接受け取ったとはっきり言ったわ<笑>直接かお手上げだなへたな考え休むに似たりとはよく言ったものだわちょっと考えてみたら傘がどうこうなんてどうでもいい問題だわ I mean, あたかもお父様が健在であるかのように嘘を頼まれたかもしれないでしょ母さんが確かにお父様から渡されたなんて証拠、どこにもありはしない。マリアちゃんが誰から傘をもらっていようとも、あるいは傘なんかそもそももらっていなかったとしても、お父様はもうじき現れる現れたお父様の前に傘の問題なんて全くどうでもいいことつまり傘の問題が取り沙汰されるのはそうでない場合ということよ
Isn't the umbrella issue be sort of a, one of the key parts of the mystery? So then I bite the noah, none no kotoda. So ka Wakata de Kirie sanga ita no a ko you kotoyaro. お父さん、兄さんが苦しまぎれの時間稼ぎでお父様が現れると出まかせを言ったのかもしれない。やっぱりお父様は既に亡くなっていて。兄さんは今なおまだ健在であると嘘をつき続けている。Put up a disguise, disguise to make it look like he's father. I don't know. Tsumari, Oto Samaga Arawareba, Sibet no Sakua Tsuyo Shinai. Kangai Ristio Monai. Watashtachua Sojo no Uo Uo ten ni Makasete, Oto Samato no Choksets Kosho ni Nozomushka Naiwa. We're just, we're just fish waiting to be reeled in. Sorekoso, dogeza to genkotso kakugo ste, okane o mushin sreshkanai. Demo gyakuni, oto sama ga araware na kereba, watashtachi no tosho no saksen wa nani mo yuruganai. Naruhodo. Zumari. どっちに転ぼうとも今更あたふたする必要は何もないってことね。そういうこと。お父様が現れれば本来の親族会議が行われるだけの話。現れなければ私たちは引き続きクラウス兄さんを追求すればいいだけの話なのよ。お父さんの機嫌が急に悪くなって、みたいなクラウスさんの言い逃れを決して許さんようにせんとな。どうやら私たちが本当に検討すべきは、兄さんがどんな策を漏してこの場をごまかそうとしてくるかよ。お嬢際の悪さは私が一番よく知っているわお父様がお元気なら私たちは土下座してお金を無心しクラウス兄さんの茶番だったなら私たちは醜い兄弟喧嘩を再開しはあ今年も素敵な親族会議になりそうね yeah, yeah, it's definitely going to be a freaking, freaking, this is going to be one heck of a debate <laughs> when it comes to a fucking conference. A family conference? More like a fucking family debate, if you ask me. Man, I can get out, man, family conference, get out of here. Then, I can get Yasumu ni nitari te waki ka. Mojiki niju niji da na. Rudolph and the rest looked at Kraus. He was sitting down firmly and looked like he was waiting Kinza's arrival with an air of composure. Excuse me. They couldn't tell if he really was composed. Sorry about that. Or if he was scheming about how to tie together his life. His Anata. life. He's scheming through how he's gonna what? To tie together his lie? Oh boy. 
落ち着きなさいもう今さらジタバとしても始まろう源氏さんに任せよう、oh, Genji? Where are the servants gonna find out this time? もうじき10時ですね2200 hours 10 pm either way This was the time that had been set for tonight's family conference to open. And it was the time that the Ushiro Mia family head needed to appear. Right then, they heard the sound of footsteps approaching from the hall. There were multiple sets. Natsuki raised her head, relieved. But because of the sound of a. Huh. Huh. <sighs> But because of the sound of a knock, her expression was filled with disappointment. Because Kinzo probably wouldn't have knocked. Wait, he was knocking though. Oh, it's the servant. Oh, it's Goda. Goda and K Kumasawa. It was Goda and Kumasawa. Unlike the powerful Goda, it was rare for Kumasawa with her old body to be forced to work this late. Of course, well, that's because Kumasawa is built different. Of course, Kraus also seemed to know that. Mm. I hate how every time I want to scroll up and look back on the dial and have to freaking reread the dialogue, it's, just, it's, it's kind of annoying how the, it cuts off the background. My apologies for making you work at such a time, Kumasawa. Well. Yeah. こう見えてもまだまだ夜更かしは得意でございますので。Jesus Christ. <laughs> Again, you're built different. <laughs> 熊沢についてだけは立ち合いを外させても良いのでは。さすがに体に応えるでしょう。使用人も全員揃えろとの命令だ。Alright, I will be right back. A few moments later. Alright, we are back. You know, got uh, another interruption of the sort. But right now, you know, hopefully I can finish it up to like 50 to 60 minutes around the sort. But yeah, there wasn't like anything, you know, special other than like the, uh, the middle-aged adults in the family conference. We, all they were discussing of who gave the umbrella to Maria. And as far as I know, as I tried to like find out what the answer would be so far, I, you know. Huh. You know, anytime I try to find the uh, find out the uh, solving the mystery within Umi Neko, this uh, this is a, it is always causing a bit of a stun lock. And you know, according to Urban Dictionary, you know, a stun a stun lock means that you know you you provided like information to her to the extent that you are just being flabbergasted. So I was like, well, wow, that's what happened. But yeah, let's uh, oh excuse me, continue. Turn the oh, what the audio gets fucked as well. Jesus, tonight's family conference was clearly different from normal. On a normal year, no one was allowed to attend except family members. To have the servants present for such a thing was unthinkable. But this year was different. All of the servants were told to attend. Of course, they were not allowed to talk. They were there as observers. Just what in the world was happening that needed to be observed by five servants? Even Kraus didn't know. <laughs> well, you're built different, that's why. Yes, listen to the advice. 
なるほどまだまだお元気でおられる百歳になっても元気でお勤めに違いない奥様勝手ながら軽食の準備をさせていただきましたいつでも配膳できますのでご指示を頂戴できればと思います、oh, ありがとうやはりあなたは気が利きますね他の皆さんにコーヒーのおかわりを勧めてください well, See? I feel like in her, man, even in, I feel like in her first episode, she's been really bitter. But I, I, I feel like, you know, her character has been、uh, considering to be more acceptable or reasonable in, the, in, the, in that circumstance. So、oh, I can take it as it is. After nodding, Gota took the pot towards the relatives gathered at the other end of the table. As he did, more footsteps approached from the hallway. It was a single set, and it was light. Even before the knock, they could imagine who it was.、Uh, look, it's、uh, Shannon. Oh.、Uh, as expected. Gokuro de Sta. Konya wa Tokubets na ban des. 緊張感を欠かさないように。Tonight is a special evening, so make sure you stay alert. Oh boy.、Uh, on evening guard duty. Graveyard duty? Well, either way. はい。かしこまりました、奥様。Genji had gone with Kanon to meet Kinza. There was still no sign of their return. Yeah, I wonder what's going on with Kinza this time. Oh. The hand of the clock passed 2200 slightly. Once sure of that, Eva spoke to Kraus. Nisan! Mou jikan da kere do mo. Shinzok kaigi. Mada hajimara nai no ka shira? うん、主品の到着が遅れているしばらく待ちたまえ I mean and by the time we wait a lot bit more longer we would have been like asleep on the dining room dining room by now いつまで悪いけど時間を切ってもらうわよお父様がなかなか来ないなんてのを延々と続けて夜明けまで待たされたらたまらないわ親父殿のお越しになる時間を私が約束などできるものか How can I make a promise about the time father shows up? Hmm, that's a good question. <笑>何を焦っているのだね The... Is it is like his... The look on his face, he's looking like he's reading her well. Ochiske, or whatever you call it. Aniki, or it's a chua shinzok kaigi no tameni atmatirunde. Chaban genai. Ato sanji puma mats. Dang it. So de dame nara. 書斎に押しかけさせてもらうぜ押しかけるとは物騒な当時様への敬いにあまりにもかける行為です I mean, how are you gonna do that? How are you gonna break into the study room? <laughs> そうよねごめんなさいあと30分はおとなしくしてるわ30 minutes、uh, sure is a long one for you guys ふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふ
楽しみだわ親父殿が死んでいると本気で信じているのかねそれを今さら議論する気はないわお父様がここにやってくればいいだけの話兄さんを言いまかす必要なんて何もないもの、no. That... That's on you for you decide. <laughs> 後ろ三宅当主は正当なる人間へ正当なる手続きをもって継承されるお前が何の策を漏したところで何も抗えんよもちろん私もな何をわけのわかんないことを今まで散々自分こそが次期投資だと威張ってきたくせにお前の言葉をそのまま返そうそれを今さら議論する気はないね親父殿がやってきて自らの口でそれを宣言すればいいだけの話だ I mean if he actually you know Come out of the fucking room for once, it'll be a fucking miracle by now. Oh, my, oh, you make us a hit, you know, no, 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 Rang out. Both Genji and Kanon were usually very reserved when they knocked. They wouldn't hit the door with such a violent strength. It was like a judge's gavel slamming down in a call for silence. So everyone went quiet. Alright, let's see. The door opened slightly, and Genji showed himself. Then he spoke with a serious tone different from his usual one. It wasn't like. It wasn't the tone he used when carrying out his duties. It was the tone he used when speaking for Kinzo himself. So just by hearing Genji speak like that, the siblings were struck with a sudden tension. Minasama, go check s e k i o At those words, the dining hall was wrapped in total silence and everyone hurriedly returned to their designated seats. It was as though students who had been bustling around just before homeroom had suddenly returned to their seats when the teacher came. And it might even have looked humorous, but there was no way anyone would joke about it. Everyone sat in order, and Shannon, Goda, and Kumasawa stood up straight in a row by the wall. <laughs> Is that so? Let's see. Of the double doors that led to the dining hall, Genji opened the right door from the inside, and Kanon opened the left door from the outside. Well.、Wow. Oh shit. <laughs> God damn. We are, we are four episodes in and he finally spawns. <laughs> and, welcomed by a respectful bow from those two, majestically fluttering his cape, Kinzo appeared. Kinzo's gait had a dignified weight to it, and it was hard to believe that he had reportedly been at the end of his life. Genji pulled back. Kinzo's seat and motioned for him to sit. But Kinzo stayed standing, signaling with his chin for Genji to move back. <laughs> What's so funny? Yo, Koso Shokun, Lokkenjimai. 
何を怯えた顔をしておるのかエヴァえいえそんな怯えてるなんて I feel like Kinzo had, like, had his ears big enough to understand what, what the commotion is all about. Oh, 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 <笑>言えないよな<笑> Eva realized that their conversation during the day had indeed been leaked to Kinzo, and she hung her head, turning red. さてと、我が息子たち、娘たち、そしてその伴侶の諸君。お前たちの就寝している我が財産と当主の継承について今宵は重要な発表をしようと思うまず最初に Whoa, my fucking controller. Fuck. Fucking hell, I gotta plug it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I thought I was gonna play like. I think I had the controller plugged in again because I thought my friend is able, able to play Halo. But unfortunately, I had to download the fucking campaign during the Master Chief collection. So, I had to do it while in the middle while my game was running. But I'm sure he does it. Is that so? That's so. 今日まで誰にもあの詩文の謎を解くことができなかったということだ。Well, the last episode, Eva, technically Eva did. Even though Kinzo said he was disappointed, a condescending smile rose to his face, as though there was no way the likes of these could have solved it, and his gaze passed through all of them. 私はあれを解けたものに全てを譲り渡すつもりでいたしかし今日までに誰も解くことができず我が全ては誰にも継承されることなくここに至っているわけだ<笑>情けない、oh, お前たちの中にそれを受け継ぐ資格を持つ人間が現れなかったことが私は心底残念でありそして情けなくざまわないと思っている<笑><笑>私は自分の謎にて我が継承者を選ぶことをここに中止することを宣言するつまりはタイムオーバーゲームオーバーというわけだ。ゲームオーバーおうおう。It's j o v e r 残念だったな、お前たち。お前たちには、等しく公平にチャンスがあったはずなのに、それが今、ここに、ついえた。It felt like you, he was trying to cough, but he's like forcing out a laugh. Hmm. Well, 
I mean, you've had like a one full day, I guess, but it truly sounded like Kinza was making a victory proclamation. Naraba, Toshi wa Chonan no Kraus ni Keisho Sareru no Ka? Kotae wa no dear! No! She's like, what? わかっているよな、クラウス。お前には確かに時期投資という肩書きを与えた。だが、お前はそれに溺れただけだ。時期投資というのはどういう意味かわかるか。お父さんの後を継ぐという意味です。違う。Damn。Wrong。時期投資というのは投資が約束されたものではない。いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、
It may be hard to imagine after his immersion in the occult of recent years, but that brutally overbearing outlook was no more or less than Ushiro Miya Kinzo's charisma and aura. この世を前たちにできたのは3人寄せ集めて共同戦線を張ってクラウスから金を背びろうとしたことだけ。I mean, that's what these three always do in front of previous episodes, so... Why am I not... I'm not surprised. しかもその策も浅はかそのもの。クラウス一人を追い詰めることさえできやしない。and narcissistic. Don't forget that. Sacrifice everything. Kovunomegamiwa,どんよくなるものにこそ母へぬ。その野生の精神がないお前たち三人にクラウス同様に継承の資格などありはしない。<laughs> Eva and the rest had no words to respond with, and they couldn't calculate what it was Kinzo was about to say. Was Kinzo actually planning to proclaim that no one would succeed the headship? If so, that would work to Eva, Rosa, and Rudolph's advantage. Excuse me. After all, in the end, they just had to renegotiate everything among the siblings after Kinzo's death, splitting the inheritance evenly. It would surely be more troublesome if a specific person's name was raised and proclaimed to be the successor. But would Kinzo really say something to benefit any of the four siblings after demeaning them so much? お父様ならやりかねないという恐怖はあるわ。頭に血が昇ってるだけさ。しばらくは聞き流すしかねえ。で、では、お父さん。次期当主についてをどういうお考えをお持ちですか。お前たちに完全に失望した以上、私は誰に引き継ぐ気も失った。私の代で終わりだ。そういうわけには後ろ宮家など
。ああ、そうだ。もとよりそうだったのだ。私が死ぬ時に全てを失うのがベアトリーチェとの契約そして呪い<笑>さあ行くかベアトリーチェお前を捕らえるのはこの私だ今宵それは現実となるだろう<laughs> For a while, Kinzo was overcome with cackling, but his eyes bulged. Whenever he talked about Beatrice, it was always both eloquent and insane. お前たちのような愚かなる息子たちなどまさに白昼夢。初めからいなかったも同然よ。消えろ、冷めろ。真実の私のまどろみと共に消え去ってしまえ。私を継承するに値する何者も築き上げてこなかった出来損ないどもめ<笑>金蔵さんよろしいかな何か我が友よ Nanjo nervously raised his hand asking to speak Kinzo allowed him to. Kinzo san no kimochi mo wakaru. Kodomo tachi o ai suru ga yue ni. O kina kitai o yose. Sore yue ni kitai o uragirare ta yona kimochi ni naru oya gokoro. Onajiku kodomo ya mago o motsu ni toshite. Yoku wakarimasu. Shikashi. 金蔵さんは非凡だ天才だそんな金蔵さんに追いついて当然と言うんではちょいとひどすぎるんじゃないかねそれでもそんな金蔵さんに追いつこうとクラウスさんもエヴァさんもルドルフさんもローザさんもそしてその伴侶の皆さんもよく頑張っています。ほほうよく頑張ってどの程度の金を稼ぎ上げたというのか事業にことごとく失敗して借金を抱え未だに私のすねをかじろうという間抜けどものどこがよく頑張っていると言えるのか Well, to be fair, not all, not all of them can、uh, invest their business individually. I mean, is this just bad luck or is this they just really can't even? Or are they that irresponsible? Kono yo no subete wa kane to shite kesho shite iru no da. The crystallization of everything. Well, whew. それがつかめぬということはこの世をつかんでおらぬということ If you cannot grasp that then you cannot grasp the world firmly grasp it 魂がこの世をしっかりつかんでおらぬということは生きるに値せぬということだ消えろ我が生と現実から消え去ってしまえそれは暴論ですその理論から言ったら私だって生きていてはいけないことになるそんな私でも
金蔵さんと過ごしたチェスの時間は共に価値あるものだったと信じていますぞ世の中お金で買えないものもたくさんあることを金蔵さん自身が誰よりもご存知のはずだ。Does that include the argument of、uh, money doesn't buy happiness? Too? Hmm? Hmm. As the siblings motionlessly hung their heads, they cheered the Nanjo on inside their hearts. Not one of the siblings could offer their opinion in front of Kinzo in a rage, but Kinzo's close friend Nanjo alone was allowed to. Even though Kinzo had raged so fiercely, after being admonished by Nanjo, he nodded several times as though in agreement. This surprisingly obedient side of him might have seemed cute, but there was no one here who could laugh. Tash ka ni musko san tachi wa Kinzo san hodo no zai wa kizuki age rare na katta ka mo shire nai. Ma, sore demo watashi kara mireba. Yeah, well, you're a family doctor, and then you have you also have the servants that could more or less be jealous of、um, you know. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised that the uh, the uh, Kinzo's children didn't even like pay the servants fairly, so. しかしお金だけでなくお金では買えないたくさんのものを築き上げましたそれについて言えば金蔵さんにも負けないくらいですほう金で買えぬ何を積み上げたというのか幸せです家族です彼らは素晴らしい伴侶を見つけ子を産みそれぞれの幸せな家庭を築かれていますあなたの一族を繁栄させそして孫を連れ帰ってきてくれました孫はいいですぞ私たち年寄りは私たちには見ることもかなわぬ新しき時代を生きるだろう若き孫に無限の未来を想像するのです。それは、老朽の唯一の楽しみではありませんか思い出しなさい、金蔵さん。彼らが初めて孫を連れて帰ってくれた時の喜びを息子さんたちはそして孫たちは金蔵さんの偉業を後の世まで伝え模範としてくれることでしょうそれはお金がいくらあろうとも孤独なる身にはなせぬことです Oh, interesting debate. I mean, discussion of the story. But aside from that, we're gonna about end it for here. I think we recorded over an hour by now. All right, next part. Let's continue more of this. Well, let's see how Kinzo responds when, com- when it comes to a non j u d g e opinion. You know, I mean, look at this. I mean, you know, I've built on day not. I mean, not only are they they're not, you know, building up a rich fortune, you know, they got, a, you know, if anything, they put all that effort to, you know, have happy families, you know? I mean, yeah, some grandchildren, besides, you know, Jessica, you know, Jessica having the little bit of a rebellious, you know, don't care about the little rich, rich phase, and I think Badlet too. You know, I think it's reasonable. Well, that aside, like, comment, and subscribe. 
I will see you guys later. Have a good one.